DGD 2500 in the building. Ho, ho, ho. Look what we got in here. Wow, a brand new DGT2500. Thank you all once again for stopping by. If you are new here, you can consider subscribing and liking the video. So this time I got this beautiful chess clock from the Sunrise Chess from the company from the Poland. If you want to check it out, I will put the link in the description box. Let's see what we got inside. Two batteries, nice touch, the clock itself, manual, here is the manual in English, and the clock, oh my, it's pretty big, so first let's talk a little bit about the build quality of this clock. So, the buttons over here are pretty sturdy and you have to apply just a little bit of force to click this. I have seen clocks uh, which are easier to press than this one, so for this one you just have to apply a little bit more power, a little bit more force to press it. Over here you got the power on and power off button, all the options. And over here, you got pretty much just the surface. And one thing to remember, there is no 3.5 millimeter jack to connect it uh, with the board. This is for the games without the electronic board. Now we're gonna go through possible options. First, turn it on, on this white button. It says let's play. So first option, it is time control without the increment or a delay. So as you see, blinking one, that means five minute game without increment or delay. You just have to press this once to confirm this option. And now press once again to start the game. So the time is running without increment or anything else. Okay, let's say now we want to go to the game setting number two. How to get to there? Just turn it off and then turn it on. Now you got your number again blinking. Then press plus to go forward. Now you got an option 25 minutes and so on. So this is a little bit more advanced. Uh, let's go to the number 8. This is manual setting. If you want to confirm manual setting, you just press once in the middle. And now it's a 10 second game. <laughs> okay, this is just for a test. So we can apply this like a 10 second game to show you something else. Okay, confirm. Start. Let's test something. If you are in a pause, we are in the middle of the pause, and if we press and hold minus button, we're gonna get this symbol. It means uh, the, the clock will start beeping five seconds before we lose on time. So let's see how this sounds. Okay, so this guy is lost. Uh, I prefer not to use that option, so I just long press and dismiss that option. Okay, let's go again to this setting of a 10 seconds game. 
and now we're gonna confirm it confirm it once again and start to play but let's pause it for a second and hold this button now we're gonna get this symbol this means freeze so let's say we play like a bullet game and uh, we we only have a few seconds more and uh, with this option when one player is left without a time the both times are gonna stop in that case you will know how many time did you have when your opponent lost on time for example you have a few seconds and you don't even focus on the clock you just play and hit the clock you don't have time to look on a clock and you just play 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 okay this guy now lost on time but we are able to see how many time this guy had left when this guy flagged without freeze option let's say we play this game without freeze option and we have only a few seconds left you and your opponent and you are playing very fast and you're not even looking at the clock so this guy this guy flagged but you still keep on playing and then you realize oh you flagged but at the moment uh, this guy flagged nobody looked at the clock so we don't know how many time this guy had when this guy flagged uh, and with the freeze option over here we are able to stop the times for both players when any of them flag okay now this was number eight let's move to the fisher bonus to screw more turn off turn on to get your number blinking and press plus to go to number nine uh, which is fisher bonus so it's actually 3 plus 2, so it is uh, with a bonus. Then we got 5 plus 3, 10 plus 10, 15 plus 5, and so on. 16 uh, up until uh, 20, a little bit more advanced mode. I don't personally use that, but for example, I like to use a manual setting so I like to play for example 10 plus 2 let's say you want to play a game 10 plus 2 and it is not in a default setting of this watch so let's uh, adjust it so it's like 10 plus 2 in this case it is 10 plus 7 I want to reduce this increment so I'm gonna press middle once so okay i'm good with uh, 10 minutes it's, it's okay and how to how to get to the increment you just go to the right 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 and now again right bb it means bonus if you change the bonus on this side it's gonna change for both players and if you change the bonus on this side it is applied only to this player if you want to make it that the one player has a bigger increment than the other one you just want to adjust that bigger time bigger increment over here and smaller increment over here or bonus our original plan was to put like two seconds bonus for both players so let's just do it like this confirm ready steady go
increment the same for both players. Okay, we wanna go to 22, turn off, turn on, and press plus. Okay, this is a Bronstein delay. So with this setting, uh, you get the bones every time you press. Every time you press, you will get the bonus plus five seconds, but you will not be able to build up your time. It can only be restored to your lowest point in time. So, for example, look at this 58. Plus five, but it stops at 58 because this, this was our lowest point. Okay, 58 again. So what if we let it let it go uh, below 53? What's gonna what's gonna happen? Okay, 50, 52. Okay, plus five is 57. And can we go to the more than 57? No, now we are limited to 57 at best. That's the branch time. Okay. Turn off, turn on. We want to go to 23, manual setting for the branch time. And this is US delay. So this setting, 24 setting, it is 25 plus 5 seconds per move. Let's check it out. This is our delay. It's shown in the middle of the screen. Okay, now you see. It started counting. When these 5 seconds are gone, that's the time where your clock starts ticking. Okay. And to do manual delay, you just press plus once again. So this is like a one minute game, like a bullet. Confirm. But let's say we wanna make it one minute plus one second delay. We're gonna screw, this is time for the game and delay we're gonna adjust in the second menu. Just go right. Now this is the, the so this is delay. Again, for both players, adjust it in here. And for to adjust the delay bigger for one player, adjust it in here on the right part of the screen look at this now this is gonna change and this is gonna remain the same okay we can put it like this so this guy has only one second delay and this guy has a three second delay one and keep taking three for this guy this guy has a better deal Okay, and after number 25 we got some settings which are not related to chess. So I hope I covered the most important options for you. Thank you all once again for joining the video and see you in the next one.